Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and uh, oh, an intriguing puzzle today um, by Jakob and Woofer ZFG. So uh, we'll get to that in a moment, but coming up in a few days time, February the 1st, we will be publishing The Fossil Hunt, a production by um, Philip Bloomer, glum hippo, friend of the channel. And hang on, let me just shift that there is the hippo that Philip has provided as a prize for this hunt. So when we get to the 20th of the month, the uh, entries will close. We will draw a prize winner and they will receive this hippo. So uh, thank you so much, Philip, for creating this hunt based on XY differences. You can research those on the channel, though I might give you a little reminder just before the hunt begins. Um, and that's going to be really interesting. It's, it's a great rule set and... Uh, Philip, I think, is the undisputed expert in it. Well, maybe him and Richard Stolk, actually. Uh, so, anyway, that will be coming up. But today, ooh, ooh, let me, let me move the grid back into shot. I have previously once solved a whole puzzle with the grid half out of shot, as it would have been there if I hadn't moved it back. And that was a wasted video and a wasted puzzle, and I felt very bad. Don't even remember who it was by. Couldn't tell you. Not keeping that a secret. I just don't know. Um, but anyway, let's. that's not happening today. This one is called Vivian. Now, I had to look up. I was wondering, do we know how to pronounce... Um, is it Woofer ZFG or Woofer Zvuk or something? And uh, then I suddenly remembered, of course, uh, he did a video for us based on a puzzle hunt um puzzle called Adventure, which uh, has appeared on the channel under the title, I think, The Hardest Puzzle Ever Solved. Anyway, of course, he pronounced his own name, so I know it's Woofer ZFG. And uh, Woofer ZFG often collaborates with Jakob, and Simon normally solves their puzzles on the channel. But today I get to try what is basically Renban Sudoku. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. Nice, simple rule set. But I suspect it's not a nice, simple puzzle. We shall see as we go along. Do try it on the first link under the video, the link that comes before all the links to our apps, to our merchandise, to our Patreon site, to the Discord server, etc., etc., etc. So the rules of this are normal Sudoku rules apply. That means we're going to put one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box of the grid. Each purple line contains a set of consecutive and non-repeating digits in any order. So on this line, we could have 1, 2, 3, and 4, or 3, 4, 5, and 6, or 5, 6, 7, and 8. We could even have a 9 on it, as long as the 9 was there, I suppose. Okay, those are the rules. Give it a try if you feel, if you feel like it. Check the video length if you're unsure. I'm going to start now, and let's get cracking. Well, I say that with no idea how we go about this so far. It's, we've got a box in which every cell is filled with a Renban line. But one of those Renban lines pokes out. I don't see how that helps determine what's in the box. This line is not only the longest, by two in the grid, but has a shape, obviously, that seems to be significant to me. Okay, yeah, all right, I've, here's a thing. I don't know how much of a thing it will turn out to be. I think, I'm beginning to think now that this may be a colouring puzzle, which was not what I'd expected at first. Um, okay, I'm going to colour that cell yellow. And I'm going to ask you the question of where yellow goes in this box, box two. Well, the, the first answer is it cannot repeat on a Renban because of the rules. So those aren't yellow. By Sudoku, those aren't yellow. So yellow does go on this Renban line. And then it will go somewhere up here. Now, the only interesting thing about that is that yellow has now appeared on both Renban lines. So there is some overlap between their R. 
Yeah, there's only a bit of overlap between the numbers on these two Ren bands. And I can tell that because the other two digits in this run of three cells, which aren't yellow, not only are they not yellow, they're also not any of these digits which are on this long Ren band. And that's quite interesting. That means that there is one digit, at least, yellow, that overlaps, and there are two digits, at least, that do not overlap with this Renban line. That's quite, that's an interesting finding. Oh, here's another thing. Whatever's in this cell, I'm gonna, no, look, these two, these two, let's call them red and blue. They can't go on the Renban line in box two, and they can't go in that row, so they're in this row. Now, I'm not going to pencil mark those because it's a bit of a mess, but, well, no, maybe it's not. Let's do that. Red and blue are in those cells. Then in row three, they're in these cells, and they're in them with yellow. So that is a group of red, blue, yellow there. I don't, you know, I don't know what this is proving, but it's interesting. Now, what about this cell? Let's make that green. That is, again, not, this sort of shape is interesting. That is not on these cells because of the rule about no repeats on a Ren ban. It's not in those cells. So it's another overlap. It's on this Ren ban. Ah, and it can't obviously go again on the same line because of the rule about no repeats. So it goes there. So yellow and green are overlapping digits. The f between the two Renban lines. The four cell Renban line has two digits, which I haven't yet colored. Let's make them gray and orange. Um, that do not, in fact, they're here, aren't they? Gray and orange are here. That's where they must be in this box because they're not yellow, red, or blue. And they're not green. Right. The grey and orange are these cells. So one of them's a two. And that's getting interesting now. Right. So there are two digits that do not overlap on this four cell Ren Ben. And two digits that do with the six digits on this Ren Ben. That means that those digits form a sequence of eight digits which is either 1 to 8 or 2 to 9. Um, the 2 doesn't decide that because both would involve a 2. So one of these is a 2, and 2 is here, off the long Ren ban. Therefore, the short Ren ban, the two digits that it has to itself are either 1 and 2 or 2 and 3. So that digit is either 1 or 3. The two digits that it shares, the green and yellow ones, are either 3 and 4 or 4 and 5. So they definitely include a 4 and they're from and they're selected from 3, 4 and 5. And red and blue, red and blue are bigger than 4. They are. Red and blue are bigger than 4. So this is not red or blue because of this tiny two-cell Renban that's finally going to sort out these top three rows. That's lovely. Right, well, how do I know red and blue are bigger than four? Because the two digits that are private to this Renban are either one and two or two and three, because they include a two. The two digits that are in common are either three and four or four and five. So you've got to go above four to get to the four digits that are unique to this Renban out of these two, which are either... 5, 6, 7, 8, or 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, it doesn't matter whether they're 5, 6, 7, 8, or 6, 7, 8, 9. None of those digits is consecutive with 1 or 3. In fact, obviously, now I have to look at it, this can't be a 1, because that would have to be a 2, and we've already had 2 in the box. That's a 3, and this is a 4. This is not red or blue. It is therefore yellow. Yellow is 4. Yellow appears in these cells. These are not four. 
In fact, they're five, aren't they? Because we've had the three in that box and it wasn't green. Ah, oh, we're away here. This is good. Right. So, in other news, one appears nowhere on any of these Ren bands. It's the digit that's not in the eight cell sequence. So there's a one up here somewhere. Um, it's not on either Ren band, so it's in that group with red and blue. And it's over there. Now these cells, which are not yellow now, we know that, they're red and blue again, are from 6, 7, 8, 9. As are, hang on, I was going to say these ones are too. No, these include 5. And other cells from 6, 7, 8, 9. They do. 3 is orange or black. This is a 2, 3, 4 set, isn't it? So 3 is up here as well. That's a 1, 2, 3 set now. Yeah, that's good, because I thought this was a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 group. I can't really do much more than this, I think, in the top three rows. I'm going to have to come out of them now, which is a shame, because I was sort of beginning to understand what was going on then. But that is quite a pleasing conclusion. The colours may turn out to be unnecessary, but I'm leaving them for now. And now I'm going to look down this column at this Renban, which cannot have a 5 or a 4 on. No, hang on. Those three cells can't have a 5 or a 4 on. The Renban could if it was here. Ah, right. So, I was wondering... The Renban can't have both a 4 and a 5 on. Because one of them would have to be in this column and would clash. That's good, because there's quite a lot of sequences that rules out. This Ren band now can't be 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 6, or 4, 5, 6, 7. Now that leaves 1, 2, 3, 4. But look, if this was from 1, 2, 3, 4, you'd put 4 here, 1, 2, 3 here, and that cell couldn't be filled. So it's not that. So now we know that it's either... It's above 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's either 5, 6, 7, 8 or 6, 7, 8, 9. We have to select from 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these can't be 5s because of this 5. If there's a 5, it's here. These, that one can't be a 9 because of the given digit. Ah, look, these three cells see all of those. Look at that. That's beautiful. If I colour this Renban purple, you can see that all of these three cells cannot be any of the digits on the purple Renban because they would clash either in box four or in column three. So they are not from, well, they don't include, hang on, they don't include six, seven, and eight, which must be on the line. Five and nine don't have to be on this line, but six, seven, eight do. So these digits are not from four, five, six, seven, or eight. They are from 1, 2, 3, and 9, which forms a quadruple here, and means 9 is not in those cells. They are 6, 7, 8, and this cell is 5 or 9. I don't know which yet. Yes, I do, actually. The 9 in this column has to be in one of those cells, so that's not a 9. That is a 5. Uh, don't need that colour anymore. Now, on this Renban... We could not have a 9 because it couldn't link up with whatever low digit was there. So that is 1, 2, or 3. That gives us a triple and forces 9 into that cell. This is going to be 1, 2, 3, or 4, so it can, it can achieve a link with those. And that's probably the end of the, that path of deduction. Which is a shame, because that was getting quite interesting. Um, there's a 5 in one of those. Can't do much with that yet. Yeah, I, I, I look at this pair and I'm tempted to think, oh, there's definitely a 2 in there. And that's not the case. There might not be a 2 in there because Renban is different from thermos and, and white dots and things. That could be 1, 3 with a 2 there. I have to be careful about that. Oh, well, now, now I'm going to have to think about this box, and I suspect I could have thought about this box a bit harder at the start. 
yeah, look, there is something about this. Okay, I mean, here's an absolute knowledge bombshell. There has to be a 9 and a 1 in this box. Now, I mean, that's entirely fatuously obvious, but it does actually have some ramifications. Because the 9 could be on one of these 3-cell RAN bands, in which case they will have to be 9, 8, 7, and that uses up some of the other digits. The 1 could be on one of those, and it will use up 1, 2, 3. Now, alternatively, the 9 or the 1 could be on this RAN band, but I think this is going to have to be one of the one of the three sequences within the digits 1 to 9. I think this group of cells, because I think these groups of cells have to be from those sequences. Yeah, this is slightly different to what I was trying to explain a moment ago. I believe... Yeah, let's just say, I mean, in theory, you, this could come from the the middle of the set of digits on here. But in practice, it can't. Because where would this digit go in box 6? If it came from... If this was... Let's just say we wanted to get a 5 on this line. So that was 3, 4, 6, and this was 5. Where could 5 possibly go here? Uh, forget those. Where could 5 possibly go here? And what could it connect to on its Renban? And you've just used both 4 and 6 here. So this, this digit cannot be internal to the sequence of digits on here. So it's external to them. And that means this is a 3-cell sequence of digits. And that means this box divides into one REN band that has 1, 2, 3 on it, one REN band that has 4, 5, 6 on it, and one REN band that has 7, 8, 9 on it. And that's sort of as though this was a 3-cell REN band. And we know which one this is, funnily enough, because it doesn't have a 5 on it, and it can't be 1, 2, 3 now. So that is a group of cells that is 7, 8, 9. This is a 6. And one of these is 1, 2, 3. And one of them is 4, 5, 6. Now, which, if this is 1, 2, 3, the 2 can't go in those cells. If it's 4, 5, 6... Oh, it can't be 4, 5, 6, because you couldn't fill these two cells. We've got a 4 there and a 6 there. So this is 1, 2, 3, and the 2 is there. That's a 1, 3 pair. This is the 4, 5, 6 triple. We know where 5 goes. And we are in business again. So we've got this 7, 8, 9. I mean, we've suddenly got a lot of this done. I wonder how much of that thinking could have been done at the start. I think the whole point about this digit not being internal to this Renban could have been achieved. It probably helped that we approached this when we had these, well, those two given digits in the grid, especially the five. Now, what else have we got going on here? We're going to have a five in one of those two cells by Sudoku. Um, hmm. One and three are there, so that's not a one at the top. That's been a little more restricted. Oh, look, three is in one of those cells, and therefore down here it's in one of these. Two is in one of those cells, and therefore down here it's in one of these. The effect of that is, although you could put one of two or three there, you must put one on this, this Ren band. So this Ren band has at least, has a, well, it can be selected from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The whole Renban can be from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to have 1 of 2 or 3 on. That's the kind of maximum range. However, in this column, it can't have a 4 or a 5 because of those cells. So these two are from 1, 2, 3. Now this one can't be a 5. I'm tempted to think that's 2 and 3, but that's only temptation. I normally yield to it, but not this time. As Oscar Wilde said, the only way to deal with temptation is to give in to it. Um, 
No, he didn't. What he said was, I can resist anything except temptation, I think. I don't know what Oscar Wilde said. I've forgotten. Um, one, two, three. One. One. No, hang on. One is not definitely in those cells. It could be here. Ah, oh, what can be on this Renban? This tiny little two-cell Renban? They're normally useless, but actually they're often not. Now, this one can't have three, five, two, or six on it. Now, because of that, you can't put one and four on it either, because one would need a two, four would need a three or a five. Therefore, this is selected from seven, eight, and nine only. This bottom one can't be a nine. Four in this box is not in those cells, so it's in one of those two. Five is in one of those two. And four is not in that one because of this four six pair, so we've placed four. We've also got a seven eight nine triple in this column, so these two are one and six, and one has to be up at the top. So red or blue is a six. These other cells in box one are seven, eight, or nine. Ah, and that's a triple of seven, eight, nine in the column. So this is from one, two, three as well. Right, let's get, well, I'll put that in, get rid of, ooh, what happened there? I think I, did I make the grid smaller? No, it's fine. Okay, uh, one, two, three. Let's get rid of the corner marks, was what I was going to do. So these are from 5, 7, 8, 9. That's all they can be. No, hang on. For once, okay, this time, this Renban does have to have an 8 on it. Like over there, that one didn't because the Renban continued out of the box. But here, it's either 7, 8, or 8, 9. So they can't have an 8. Um, that can't have a 9. One, two, three, four, six. Okay, that's probably as much as we can do in column seven, eight, nine. Now, there are other Ren bands I'm sure that demand our attention. Ah, ah, this Ren band is either one, two, three, or two, three, four. So it's got a two on it, and that two is not in these cells. Two is here. That is a one, three pair in row five. Sorry, you've probably seen this stuff and been shouting it at me. Um, we get a four over there. We get a six in one of those two. Now, this little Renban can't have one or three on it. It doesn't use two, four, five. It's from six, seven, eight, and it's definitely got a seven on and not a six there. So one of those two is a seven. Uh, that's going to put a seven in one of those two cells. Well, that one, three pair, four, six, two, that is seven or eight. Ah, that sees five and nine. That's a five, nine pair. That's the simpler way to do that. Seven, eight pair there makes that a six. That forces the seven onto the Ren band. That's eight. This one is one or three again. Might have to end up coloring ones or threes, but I'm not doing that yet. That's a two, seven, eight triple. This is a one, three, six triple. Don't know much about it. I think that can still be a one. Uh, no, it can't. Look. Oh, that's lovely. This Renban now cannot have a four on it. Maybe it could, hasn't been able to for a while, but since we placed that. Oh, that four, by the way, forces a three onto its Renban. I'm not going to have to color ones and threes because there was a simple way out of my one, three uncertainty. Okay, but this Renban can't have a four on because of that four and that four. And therefore, it's made up of five, six, seven, eight, or six, seven, eight, nine. It's not made up of six, seven, eight, nine because there's nowhere to put a nine on it. So it's five, six, seven, eight. We get six there. I think all I can do with the rest is a five, seven, eight triple. That's a lovely puzzle, this. It flows so nicely. Um, and I still haven't done this. Don't, oh, okay, it doesn't have six, seven, or eight on it. It obviously doesn't have nine on it, therefore. So it clearly has a three on it. It's either one, two, three, two, three, four, or three, four, five. If it has a four, that has to be here. 
Mm. There's a sort of X-Wing, because this Renban also has to have a 3 on it, but all that proves to me is that there's, and it doesn't even help. I mean, there's a 3 in one of those two cells for row 7. It, uh, I, should, I don't know, I should be able to do a bit better, but I haven't quite understood what to do with that. So maybe this is really the last one. No, maybe I need to think about this box. Six in it goes in one of those two cells. Seven, eight, nine, four. I don't know, I'm str struggling to imagine how I'm going to disambiguate all of this lot. Ah, six, seven pair. That's a six, seven pair. This is an eight, nine pair. So one of blue or red has to be eight or nine. So that one can't be seven. Oh, the old colouring comes back to help a little. That's weird. Um, oh, and the other of blue and red is a six. So that's a six. Okay, that's pretty accurate. Uh, except my marking isn't. There we go. Seven. Seven now has to be in this group. Um, yeah, okay. I I don't know about eight and nine yet. These are selected from two, three, four, nine. These from one, two, three, five. That can't be a four, that can't be a six. Oh, there's five, seven, eight triple. So nine in this row is gonna have to go there, which is not surprising because I was about to take nine off the Renban at the bottom. And nine, yeah, nine's in one of those, okay. Nine, five, seven. That can't be a five. Ah, that's good. Right, that is very good. The, that can't be a five because of this five, seven, eight triple. Looking at it. <clears throat> the reason that helps is it puts five on this Renban. This now has to be a three, four, five Renban and can't have one and two on it. Three, five pair there. Let's get rid of the corner marks. That's a four. That's a two. Three and two are sorted at the top. Now, let's read across. That can't be a 2. There must be a 2 on this. Oh, there can't be a 4 on this Renban. This is now a 1, 2, 3 Renban. That is the same as that. And appears in one of those cells. Could be 2 or 3. It can't be 1, I suppose. I'll use that. I don't mind. So, one's in one of those cells. Five, seven, eight, nine. Hmm, it's a bit sticky here. Five, seven, eight, that's one, two, or three. Right, I better look at these. I don't know, they, I don't see how to do these. I haven't even got, I've only got that triple. That can't be a four, obviously. Um, two, three, one, six, four. Oh, no, I'm not going to get... Right, I need to look at box eight. I'm sure I need to look at box eight. I've got five, seven, eight, and a nine. Oh, five has to be in one of those because of this triple, so it's not there. <clears throat> Five, seven, eight, nine, four is now in one of those two cells. Oh, look, I've got a five, nine pair and an actual given digit. Oh, embarrassment. Right, nine at the top. Oh, I don't know, because I don't know which, which row it's in. Five at the top can't be in that cell. Okay, that didn't do... No, it takes five out of that cell. That puts five on the Renban. Now five has to be here. Oh, it's just bit by bit. These are from 7, 8, and 9. That one can't be 9. I'm going to get rid of the colouring in this in these three top rows because I don't think it's doing anything else for me. There we go. Um, 6 in this row is in one of those two cells. Now, am I missing anything else that a given digit is just handing me on a platter that I can't see? I don't think so. 4, 5, 9, 6... That's there, there, and ends up here, okay? <clears throat> OK. 
could be more colouring to do still. Oh, eight's in one of those two, so not here. Five, no, nine, no. Oh, come on, Mark. What's going on? Seven, eight pair there. Seven, eight pair there. That's what's going on. That makes this a two. That two comes out of that cell. Seven, eight, two, five, nine. We've got one, three, four, and six. That's one or six in this column. That could be any of them, which is annoying. That is seven or eight. It sees. No, it could be one. Hmm, bother. One, seven or eight. And this one, I don't want to pencil mark all the... Is there some, there's some Renban implication I've missed somewhere, isn't there? Oh, there's a seven in one of those cells, so that can't be seven. It is one or eight. Um, seven, eight pair there. That's all it is. That's going to finish us off. That makes this a nine. That makes this an eight. That stops this being eight, makes this eight. Um, this is going to finish us off, I believe. These can't be eight. They're a seven, nine pair. We get eight in the corner. We get nine there. One six. We've still got one chance for three in the corner down there. One, six, eight are a triple here. This is a seven on the eye wing. That's an eight. On the Ren band, that's a seven. It is going to finish us off. I was right. Seven there. Uh, this one six eight triple is not resolved. The one three, the seven eight pair is, of course. Keep saying sevens and eights, and you will find them all, Mark. Um, now seven two five eight nine up this middle column, not helpful. Eight four. I'm looking down this column now. Nine eight four five seven. Oh, let's look along the bottom row. A hunch there might be something to see there. Where does seven go in the box? Oh, seven doesn't go in those cells by Sudoku. There's a good old chocolate teapot triple said because it's useless. It kind of not one of them is resolved by all of the others yet. Uh, five, eight, seven, nine, six in there, four in there. I'm sure that was going to finish. I was sure that would finish us off. This, one, two, three, triple. That being the same as that hasn't come to any kind of conclusion. Ah, two and three. This is a one. That's not a one. So this is a two, three pair. Looking up there, yes, that's nice. We get a one here. That fixes four and six in the box. That is going to finish everything off. And that makes this a very nice puzzle. With a very nice finish even there, actually. Three, two, three, two, one. It is three in the corner. Losing its religion. Trying to keep on you. Okay, we get a nine and a seven in the final corner. And there we go. That 30 minutes again. It seems to be a, a very standard time for me, except last week when it was anything but. Right, that is a lovely puzzle. I don't know why it's called Vivian. I see two Roman sixes in Vivian, but I don't think that's got anything to do with anything. I don't know. In interest, I'd be intrigued to know why that's called Vivian, or whether you name all your videos after Young One's characters. Anyway, we will all your um, puzzles. We will see you again soon on the channel, I hope. Oh, loads of crossword content posted today, by the way. Simon did a a very hard times regular cryptic, uh, which I have also solved, and we may publish my version of it somewhere as well. Um, that's on the channel, and on Patreon, I my solving of Simon's unbelievable circling the square puzzle from 2004 is on Patreon. It's a long video. If you were going to watch the whole thing, including all the clue solving set aside, 
two and a half hours and bundles of popcorn. But if you're just going to watch the ending, take 20 minutes out and do so because it's incredible. Anyway, thank you very much for following us, for watching us on the channel. Do subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.